Hi, this is Dr. Hyman. Welcome back. Now, here's some headline news that you've not heard about. There was a new compound just discovered that turns off all the diabetes genes. Guess what it is? It's rye bread and rye pasta. Now, you might remember from one of my recent blogs that rye has special phytonutrients that turn off all the genes responsible for diabetes in just a few weeks. Now, this should have been headline news along with all the other discoveries about how to control diabetes that I'm going to tell you about today. Last week, I talked to you about how to find out if you're pre-diabetic or diabetic because half the people with diabetes walking around don't know they have it and nearly all of the people with pre-diabetes certainly don't know they have it. So let's get started. First thing is diet. You know, eating in a way that balances your blood sugar, that reduces inflammation and oxidative stress and improves your liver detox is the key to preventing, reversing and stopping insulin resistance in diabetes. This is a way of eating based on a whole foods diet. It's high in fiber, low in sugars and flours, it's got a low glycemic load, and it's rich in colorful fruits and vegetables. It's very simple, whole foods diet. It's a way of eating that includes lots of anti-inflammatory and antioxidant and detoxifying foods. It includes plenty of omega-3 fats and olive oil and soy products and beans and nuts and seeds. All these foods have been proven to prevent and reverse diabetes and insulin resistance. So here's the basic guidelines for those who own a body. I think most of you out there. There's a way of eating that turns on all the right gene messages that promotes a healthy metabolism and prevents aging and age-related diseases like diabetes and heart disease. And this is right from my book, Ultra Metabolism. So here's the prescription. One, first think about your meal timing. You've got to eat some type of protein for breakfast every day. It could be whole omega-3 eggs, a protein shake, nut butters, some form of protein. You've got to eat something every four hours to keep your blood sugar balanced. You've got to have small protein snacks in the morning and afternoon, such as a handful of almonds. And you have to finish eating two or three hours before bed, otherwise you're going to look like a sumo wrestler. And then you have to look at the composition of each meal, sort of like uh, painting a painting. You have to have all the right balance in there of proteins, fats, and carbohydrates and, and make sure you balance your sugar. Now, here's some basic principles. One, choose organic produce. Two, eat omega-3 fat-containing foods. Three, make sure you have quality protein. Four, eat the omega-3 eggs. Next, eat a high uh, a meal, sorry, a meal high in low glycemic beans, such as lentils, chickpeas, and soybeans. Uh, these help your blood sugar go up slowly and raise the good cholesterol and lower the bad cholesterol. Eat a whole cornucopia of fruits and vegetables with lots of phytonutrients, all the colors of the rainbow. Eat the rainbow, right? Use low-burning, low-glycemic vegetables such as asparagus, broccoli, kale, spinach, cabbage, and Brussels sprouts. Eat lots of great fruits like berries, cherries, peaches, plums, rhubarb, and pears, and apples, which are wonderful for your body and antioxidants. Focus on anti-inflammatory foods that have uh, things like wild fish with full, full of omega-3 fats and red and purple berries and dark green leafy vegetables. And eat more antioxidant rich foods. These are like orange vegetables and yellow and dark green leafy vegetables and red and purple and all those nice colors that we were talking about. Make sure you eat detoxifying foods to help your liver like broccoli, kale and collards and dandelion greens and Chinese broccoli and green tea and watercress and dandelion greens and cilantro and artichokes and garlic and pomegranate and even cocoa. So many foods out there can help you. And try some herbs like rosemary and ginger and turmeric that are powerful antioxidants. And avoid excessive quantities of meat. And if you have to eat meat, make sure they're organic or grass-fed. Eat lots of garlic and onions because that helps lower your blood pressure and cholesterol and help you detoxify. Eat lots of fiber-containing foods, which are whole foods, basically plant foods, fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, beans, whole grains. Uh, eat a good quantity of extra virgin olive oil and use soy products in your diet and eat more nuts and, and seeds. And yes, you can even eat chocolate, the darkest, only most, most luxurious kind and only a few ounces at a time. It should be at least 70% cocoa. And of course, you should get off all the bad stuff, right? Those are all the good things. You get off processed food and white flour and high fructose corn syrup and artificial sweeteners and starchy processed carbs and fruit juices and canned vegetables and hydrogenated oils and processed oils and lots of red meat and, and big fish like tuna and swordfish which have mercury and try to get rid of as much dairy as you can and limit caffeine and alcohol and make sure you exercise because that's dramatically important for improving insulin sensitivity and learn how to deal with stress which, which is actually critical for helping balance your blood sugar and improving your metabolism. Also I encourage you to think about supplementations, a good multivitamin, 
uh, and, and also some special nutrients that I, I include in my blog in detail like lipoic acid and biotin and, and, and cinnamon and, and fenugreek and banaba leaf and, and something called PGX which is a phenomenal compound. It's, it's glucomannan fiber that slows your blood sugar absorption and helps you actually lower your blood sugar and lower your cholesterol. So these are all very simple things you can do to have profound effects on your diabetes, reverse diabetes, reverse insulin resistance, help your body actually recover from this horrible event that has happened as a result of the choices you make every day. So diabetes, remember diabetes and its precursor, insulin resistance, are the most looming threat to our health in the 21st century. It's a tragic consequence of our toxic food environment, our unmitigated exposure to stress, our sedentary lifestyle. However, these problems are completely preventable and often reversible through aggressive lifestyle changes, supplements, exercise, and stress management. Diabetes is the biggest health e epidemic we have triggered by the obese epidemic. And all of our medical efforts to treat it are focused on medications and insulin, and it's simply the wrong approach. So if you follow these guidelines, you will see a dramatic change very quickly in your health, in your weight, and your diabetes. Just try it.